Hey guys, my name is Patrick, and today I'll be showing you how I made my minecart station and how you can make your own. Now, the basics of a station, in my eyes, are the departure and the arrival. I like these to be as simple as possible, so all I have to do is push a button, get in, push another button, go out. When I come back, just come in, get out, and push another button. Three in total, all semi-simple to set up. Now, what I'll, today, in this video, all I'll be showing you is the mechanisms I used for each of the, for the system. And then I'll show you how I implemented them in my station. Here we go. Now the first one I used is memory cell. Simple little redstone circuit, but very valuable. What a memory cell does is it remembers the last input given, and then when the same input is given, it reverses. Push one button, the door closes. Push another button, and it'll stay closed as long as you want. Push another button, and it opens up again. Stays open. Simple. This is minecart dispenser. Push a button, the minecart gets powered. Pushes the minecart, pushes another minecart along in a little row, or it simply loops around back into this, back into the dispenser. This is a horizontal dispenser, only two blocks high, but can be as long as you want to hold as many carts as you want. This is the one I used in my station. Last one, the cart return, uses a little indentation in the ground on a minecart track so it always gets boosted and it, it is always pushing against the wall push the button and it powers that pushing the card up onto the power tracks when it reaches the top it pushes the minecart along back into the station to the dispenser now I'll be showing you each one of these in the station. First, the memory cell. Memory cell is located down here, right below the loading cart. Oops, sorry about that. You push the button, it powers, powers the first block, and it turns the booster rail on. Now, the way to turn this off, a minecart has to go on to here, which I'll show you. When a minecart goes on to here, it sends power to this circuit, turning it off, turning off the booster. Now, this is a completely optional, but I added it just because it was the first thing that came to mind for the original one over there. And I stuck with it. Now for the cart dispenser. The cart dispenser is done with a redstone circuit spiraling down to a dispenser. The dispenser feeds the cart up, up some stairs leading to the ceiling of the building where it drops down. Right here I have a simple detector rail so when the cart hits it it plays a little jingle. I like that. Now let's see this in action. Oops. Now the cart return. The cart return is just as I showed. The button up at the very top, sends the circuit down here, powering this, which moves the booster up here. The unpowered track right here stops a minecart, allows it to be pushed along, and allows you to get out. Push it. And the button, 
and the minecart's on its way back to the system. Now, how does it work, you ask? Simple. And you'll see in a second. When it gets pushed along, it goes through this little hole down to the left and drops into this little waiting area that allows it to go into the main line for the dispenser. And that about covers it for this episode. If you liked the video, please like, please give it a like, and uh, next vi episode we'll be actually building the main structure of the train station. See you then.